Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking goodness. Look how pretty it is. Can you believe that this wig was less than $60? Are you kidding me? Go get your hands on it. <laughs> It's me, Josie Shirell, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to get this beautiful, beautiful install. This is a very, very beautiful unit sent to me by Black Hairspray, so the link to this wig will be listed in the description box below. So if you guys want to learn how to get this beautiful, effortless, curly, curly bedhead style, I cannot keep my hands out of it. Keep your hands out of it if you can, because... You want it to last as long as possible, but if you guys want to know how to get this beautiful style, keep watching and let's get into this install. All right, y'all, let's jump straight into this wig install. I've got my drink for, you know, wine and wig season, but this is really apple juice. Mm. All right, let's get into this wig install. I'm starting off with um, a wig cap. This is the one that they gave me from the beauty supply store. I really should have double checked it before they put it in my bag. All right, this, this can be a look. What y'all think? So I'm about to do the ball cap method. I'm going to take my Got To Be Glued Free Spray and I'm going to just spray it along the perimeter right before my my skin meets my hairline. You know what I mean? So, and this is the part where you really, really want to be patient. I'm going to spray it down and then I'm going to blow it dry a bit with my blow dryer until it like completely adheres to my skin. I look, <laughs> look at my eyebrows. <laughs> okay. Let's it. I'm just gonna smooth the spray out a bit with my fingers and then push it back to help it dry faster. I'm gonna use my blow dryer brush because I don't have my actual blow dryer. So I'm going to use this dab away to get it nice and dry. So this is about 80% dry while we're waiting for it to kind of finish air drying. Let me get, show you guys the box that the wig comes in. Okay, so this is the box that the wig comes in. This is her in all of her glory. She is a 13 by 6 wig. This is a part of their perfect hairline collection. Claims to be a 100% fully hair tied 13 by 6 transparent HD waist wig no plucking required now if you guys are new here um i am not the biggest fan of having to do a lot of work and plucking my wigs i really like things that come fresh out of the pack ready to install i'm what you would say a lazy baddie a lazy baddie because who has the time be for real be so for real so this color is this is so much prettier this is so pretty guys i just promise you hold on can i see this color is beautiful <laughs> like this color is so much prettier in person i guess i was expecting um more of like the mocha cafe brown but the havana brown it's so warm like it's such a warm stepping into fall color 
you guys really have to order it to see for yourself. It is gorgeous. I really think that they should let me fix my cap because I look crazy. I really think that they should definitely make this color in more units. Because I don't see the Havana brown color often. Yo, the inside construction. Let's get into it. There are three combs and an elastic band. I'm actually going to show you guys. One second. Bear with me. Be patient. So, you guys can see the construction. This is how deep that 13 by 6 lace is. It goes all the way down. But what I love, love, love about these wigs is that you get that nice elastic band. Um, so if you are a person who does not like all the glue and gunk and you know, you can definitely wear this unit glueless, which I think is genius. All right, y'all, so this is the stock card. These are the pictures, the different colors. Here's some more colors on the back. So she comes in a plethora of like beautiful natural colors, warm oranges and warm reds and neutrals. Cream soda. I've actually had cream soda before and girl, if you're looking for like a beautiful blonde, ash blonde color for deeper skin complexions, cream soda is beautiful beautiful <laughs> havana brown which is what i will be styling today Ooh, dr chocolate cream girl now i have not heard of chocolate cream that sounds so good like these wigs make it seem like it needs to come with like some sort of pastry or ice cream cinnamon wine golden amber cajun spice and ginger mahogany our try needs to have some sort of bakery because it's making me hungry. Now that my hair is dry, I'm going to begin to use a little bit of bronzer to deepen the ball cap a little bit so it gives natural scalp, okay? Because right now it's giving very much ashy. I'm gonna go in with my Morph bronzer. This is pretty old. <laughs> like all of all of the lettering is gone, but <laughs> It is in the shade. I'm just gonna take a little brush, pat it in my bronzer, and just dust it all along my ball cap. Because when I go to part my hair, I don't need it giving dandruff ashiness. I wanted to give natural Havana brown. I feel like installing a wig is only perfect when you have time on your hands. Trying to install a wig when you're rushing is the worst, worst experience, ladies. Please just be patient. Allow yourself to have time. Like, if you can't listen to music and sit on your wine and scroll on your phone while you're waiting for things to dry and things to lay right it's not the time to try and install a whole wig by yourself like please no i'm just going to go ahead and trim all along the hairline right before my actual hairline because that's what we're trying to keep protected that's what we want to keep in the bald cap i'm gonna go ahead and cut all along the hairline here with my actual shears <laughs> please 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 take your time when you're doing this do not want to nick yourself you want to be very very gentle and careful so i'm have my little handheld mirror and i'm just gonna place this in front of me so i can watch what i'm doing very very closely And I'm cutting in very small sections, not huge, chunky lines. Really taking my time. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a little bit of my gel. This is the Got To Be Glued Ultra 
glued invincible styling gel and I'm just gonna take a pea size amount and place it across my wig cap to just take those pieces of the wig cap that are kind of sticking up and I'm just pressing that wig cap down this is gonna help it get nice and sticky and tacky and make sure it actually stays nicely adhered to the skin we're gonna blow dry this down just a little bit more If you guys couldn't tell, I was like pressing the cap into my skin as I was blow drying it. All right, I'm just gonna um, take my bronzer and dust over the cap one more time. All right, you guys, so <laughs> this is my, my bald cap. Now let's get into some wig prep. The very first thing I'm gonna do is do the same thing I was doing with my bald cap and dust bronzer or your favorite powder foundation and we're gonna dust it all along this transparent lace this is what it's given it's given pretty pretty ashy so i'm just going to take my magic wand and put in some magic work Alright, so now that we've got our lace matching our skin, I'm going to begin to cut the lace. So I'm going to begin by cutting off these ear tabs, especially like this little plastic, this little plastic section right here, whatever this double lace is. Basically all around this extra lace off. I'm actually going to, let, let, me, let me put this on for you guys. That's it, tutorial's over. No, I'm just kidding, okay, let's for all, <laughs> let's install it. Okay, so, before I cut, y'all, it said no plucking needed, but that's giving very, very, very full to me. I'm parting the hairline, right? Like, I'm taking hair from the hairline that I just feel like is excessive, like just doing way too much for me. And that's what we're gonna just begin to pluck. So, <laughs> all right. So I plucked some of the hairs. Um, I'm about to basically take my mousse. This is a new mousse that I picked up. It's the Curl and Wave Mousse for human and synthetic hair types. All right, and I'm gonna just pump this along my hairline. Oh gosh. All right, y'all. I'm going to get my hot comb ready. Just turn her on and we're gonna get ready to basically smooth all of this hair back. I'm trying to figure out do I want a side part or a middle part. Be careful when plucking this hair because it, if you don't remove the plucked hair, it will get matted with the other hair. And you really don't want that because this wig is synthetic. Okay, even though she looks real she is not all right y'all so i'm gonna do some plucking but i just pulled some hairs up from the hairline and i'm gonna just begin to pluck them until it looks natural i'm gonna take a brush to help remove those hairs as they come out so they're not trapped with the non-plucked hair I'm gonna take my leave-in conditioner. I'm going to spritz it a little bit on the hair that we've been plucking to help detangle and brush out that plucked hair. Now that the hairline is plucked some more, I'm gonna just begin to part some baby hairs. I'm gonna go ahead and cut. We're gonna cut all this lace off. Baby hair, and we're just gonna begin to curl them and 
just cut I believe about two inches two to three inches Okay, y'all, the party's back over here. So I'm gonna be taking my Evan Wonder Lace Bond lace wig adhesive in this itty, 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 bitty travel size bottle, which I'm like so low on. But I'm gonna be applying a very thin layer to my bald cap. I like to apply a few dots and then I'll spread it out. Let me show you guys. To gently create a thin layer. Take your time, make sure it doesn't move too far away from your hairline. And you can do as many layers as you want. I recommend at least two layers, at least. And so you want this to become clear, be patient, let this dry clear before you add your next layer and then we put on the wig. Look at it, y'all. Look at the look at the lace so far. Because it's such that pretty fluffy look, it's like I don't even want to swoop them. I don't even think I want to swoop them, guys. Okay. If you decide to swoop your edges, I use the I use my got to be glued in conjunction with my etch, ooh, what is this, style factor. This is in the sense cherry. And I'm gonna take my real dingy <laughs> elastic band and tie my hair down. So, I'm making sure the sideburns are snug and secure under the elastic band. And then I'm going to wait about 10 to 15 minutes and um, let everything fully dry. As far as like a part, I could do a middle part. I'm really feeling like the just big hair, big hair don't care side part, like no real part, just kind of play with it. This is how she looks so far, so. All right, everyone, so I am back with the finished results, and what do you guys think? I really like having my baby hairs like this because to me, me personally, I just really, I really enjoy like the soft, fluffy, curly bed head look, you know? Like, oh, I just woke up like this. I'm taking my my spray bottle and just defining some of the hair because earlier when we were plucking some of the hair got real tangled in here so i'm just taking some water and just kind of redefining those ringlets i'm just smoothing the water through give it a good like brush through and then I'm gonna just take my fingers and kind of twirl the hair to create the curl again. So this is what it looks like from, with like a side part, kind of not even a part, but just like flipped over to the side. Um, but let's part it in the middle just to see what it's giving. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking goodness. Look how pretty it is. This is what the middle is giving, you guys. Look at her. <laughs> What's crazy is I actually used this same hair 
in the color 1B for my cover album. I use this hair in my music video. I will post my music video down below um, because this is the exact same hair that I use for my music video, Bad Decisions featuring Shadow Fairy. It's just like my absolute favorite, favorite style. And you guys can see in the video, I actually laid the baby hairs. But here I'm going for like very minimal kind of minimal effort look would i say this hair tangles 100 percent without a doubt yes you definitely have to be very mindful it is not human hair even human hair does tangle however this one does tangle especially if you pluck like i did it's definitely manageable you just have to have patience the wig will give you longevity as long as you provide it with the necessary care so to me, it's so worth it. I mean, look at it. Look at her. Like, come on now. <laughs> the color, the color is amazing. This is big head friendly. Um, if you have a bigger head like I do, because girl, <laughs> if you know, you know. But it also has adjustable straps and elastic bands. So it's really created for any head size. Okay, so this is what the hair is looking like up close and personal. You guys can definitely tell she is just given body, okay? This is the shine level. This is like the scalp. You guys can see that the lace melted fairly well. This wig was sent to me by Black Hairspray. You guys already know Black Hairspray is the hair plug. You can find all types of units on their website. I will link them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys love this video, please like it below. It really helps support my channel and lets me know what videos to continue making for you all. And subscribe if you care. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!